हाई दोस्तों आई एम गणेश रेवंत फ्रॉम रेव रिकॉर्ड्स एंड ये वीडियो इट्स अबाउट बी एम एस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड फॉर दिस वीडियो आई हैव टेकन हेल्प फ्रॉम अ सेकेंड ईयर स्टूडेंट स्टडिंग इन बी एम एस सी एंड फॉर दिस वीडियो आई हैव कलेक्टेड ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड मेड अ पी डी एफ फॉर यू गाइज सो मेक श्योर टू हिट दैट लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल रेव रिकॉर्ड्स सो लेट्स गेट स्ट्रेड इन दीडियो गाइज BMS College of Engineering is one of the oldest colleges in Karnataka and which is established in 1946. The campus area of this college is chota when compared to all other colleges in Karnataka but the position the location of this campus is almost at the center of Bangalore so the campus area won't be a problem for you guys. So the campus area is just 12 acres and it is maintained very very well. This is an autonomous college. Either ways, it is affiliated to VTU, and number of courses offered is 40. The average placement package of the whole college, uh, including all the courses, tech courses and non-tech courses, would be around six to seven lakh per annum. Another ranking for this college, according to 2021, is 98. This video is sponsored by Get College Admissions which is a consultancy firm based out of Pune which works all over across India helping lots of students getting to their desired colleges this firm helps you guys in getting to know all the different varieties of exams entrance exams these guys will help you in the admission processes as well I have given the information in the description go check it out so now let's get back to the video guys uh, you can get into this college via kct via comet kugt and even the management quota as well so for more information on management quota i have i have provided link for you guys in this pdf as you can see go through it let's see some of the courses offered in this college as you can see here the computer science and engineering there's isc there's ec there's ai ml there's aerospace engineering biotechnology chemical engineering and for computer science and engineering they have allotted the seats of 180 and for information science and engineering the number of seats would be 180 for electronics and communication engineering it would be 180 as well and there's a new branch which got started 2 years back uh, in 2020 which is artificial intelligence and machine learning for which there are 60 seats so total number of seats would be 1140 so let's see some of the course cutoffs to get into this college to get into various courses in this college So let's see the KCET first round wala cutoffs the fees through KCET would be around 80k in KCET 2021 the computer science and engineering stood at 588 and the information science and engineering stood at 894 for EC it stood at 1403 were for the first round of KCET which will change in the coming rounds of KCET so i would suggest you guys to wait until the last round to get a seat in any college in Karnataka let's see some of the course cutoffs via the comed k round 1 this is also according to 2021 stats the cutoffs through comed k would touch around like uh, for, for computer science and engineering it would be uh, 188 and it was 462 for information science and engineering for electronics and communication engineering it was 720 let's see the documents to be submitted during the admissions through kct as well as the comed k first through comed k you have to submit the original admission order issued by the comed k and the originals of the 10th and 12th marks cards and if the student uh, has been qualified other than pu board of karnataka then they have to compulsorily submit their transfer certificate and the migration certificate as well and if the seat is claimed via any category they have to provide the respective certificates in order to take admissions into different different colleges different courses in different colleges and the photocopy of the student aadhar card is mandatory photocopy of pan card of the parent is mandatory and it is very much required to attest all the above documents so what is attestation attestation is simply the declaration given by a higher official such as 
BEO or DDPI, submission of recent color passport size photographs and one stamp size photographs is necessary for students studying outside India, the copy of passport and the visa is required. And let's see some of the documents which are to be submitted during the admissions through KCET. It is required to provide the application form printout, the application fee payment proof and the admit card. So keep the admit card very safe after the examination, after the CET, please don't throw it away. Then the scorecard of the 10th and 12th is mandatory to recent passport size photographs are mandatory study certificate countersigned by the concerned BEO or DDPA which is actually the attestation of all the above documents let's see some of the main topics main things why people choose all these top tier colleges in Karnataka which is the placement statistics so according to the 2020 to 2021 reports, as you can see here for UG, the placement offer has been increasing over the years, which is a very, very good sign and which becomes the sole reason why people choose this college. Let's see the internship statistics, which is basically where you start learning how to get placed, how to get a position in one company. And this is according to the 2020 to 2021 reports. Here also in UG category, we can see in 2020, the offers were around 550, which was a pretty good number. And in 2021, it is 600. So basically every year, the number of offers are increasing, number of placement offers are increasing. So this college is named as one of the go-to colleges of Karnataka. So this is the reason. If you want to see all the companies which visit this particular campus, I have provided you guys the link, a long list of companies which actually visit BMS campus to offer placements for you guys. And I would like to tell you one thing, one very important thing about this. Please like the video, which is very important for the list to survive. So let's talk about some of the alumni network. Here we have Bhavana Kant, who is an Indian fighter pilot, salute to her, and Nikhil Chinappa, who is a DJ, disco. Santhonava is a computer scientist. Avantika Mishra is an actress. Samadrav? Samadrav? So, BMS has every kind of flowers in it, so make sure to check all the alumni network, which is a nice thing. Then we have, then let's look into the hostel facilities and information related to that. For first year students, the hostel blocks are New, Blo New Boys Hostel Annexure 1, New Boys Hostel Annexure 2 and for girls it is New Girls Hostel. For first and second year boys it is Boys Hostel Unit 3 and for girls uh, there is a separate girls hostel for first and second year students. And for the pre-final and the final year students for boys it is Main Hostel Unit 1 and for girls it is Girls Hostel Unit 4. Make sure to look into this PDF and make sure to subscribe to this channel because uh, there's no reason. So then we have to look into the hostel admission processes and the mess info. The fees of the hostel is pretty costly which is 2 lakhs. PG Lelo yaar because 2 lakhs is quite quite a large amount to pay for one hostel room. Here the hostel seats are divided based on the students taking admissions via different different ways like for management channel students 40 percent of this hostel seats are allotted for cet kids they've allotted 25 percent for communicate is same which is 25 percent for others it is 10 percent for complete information go through the link guys see the pdf make sure to refer to this pdf because it's gonna help you guys see then the mess timings is the breakfast is from 7 to 9 a.m lunch is from 12 45 to 2 45 p.m snacks is from 4 45 to 5 45 p.m and the, and the dinner starts at 7 p.m to 9 p.m Clubs become the main and the core important part of any college to that matter in order to keep the campus and the students active. There are many active clubs for that case. There's Robotics Club which is IEEE, there's Photography Club, there's Aerospace Club, there's a, there's a very special club in BMSE which is the Mountaineering Club 
which organizes trekking activities and all the related activities all the adventurous activities very frequently and here there's a Kannada Sangha which is a Kannada club called as Chirantana and there is a road track club and there is a face shift which is a symposium and let's talk about the fest of BMS College of Engineering which is Utsav. There is actually a club in order to manage and maintain all the activities to be taken place in the fest and this fest would take place like there would be cultural and technical fest, there will be DJ nights, there will be turtle jams, there will be fashion shows, there will be a program called as Mr. Utsav which is a bodybuilding competition and so on and so on and so on. It is a wonderful experience. So this college has a well-balanced curriculum as well as the fest and events and club activities. So let's see some of the sports facilities. There's an indoor stadium as well as an outdoor stadium. For indoor sports facilities like badminton, basketball, carom, chess, table tennis, volleyball, there's an inside, there's an indoor stadium which is very well maintained and for outdoor games like Coco Kabaddi, there's only one field. There is three gyms in total. Girls multi-gym room which is for the girls and boys multi-gym room for boys. So there's a separation in the gym rooms. So guys, other than the clubs, fairs and everything, it also provides a scholarship scheme for the students who are appearing in sports activities for international and national level participation the college awards you 10000 rupees and for video representation you would be getting 5000 rupees let's look at the library services one of the major attractions of BMS College of Engineering. Yes, that's right. BMS College of Engineering has one huge massive library of 49,500 square feet. The library is very well maintained, very neatly maintained and I have given you guys the list of who can take how many books and for what period of time in the PDF. So the library resources have been housed in the first floor of the Platinum Academic Block and the seating capacity is around 700 it has 1.5 lakh books and even they have e-journals and everything else so here we are at the last section of the video which is the pros and cons of joining BMS College of Engineering let's look at the pros of joining to BMS College of Engineering. See, it is one of the best colleges of Karnataka. It always stands in the second position or the third position after PES and uh, RV College of Engineering. And it is one of the oldest established college. So remember, the older the college is, more experienced teachers would be there to teach you guys. And the campus area is small, but the way they have maintained this college area, the campus area is very neat and the campus location is very, very nice. It's at the center of Bangalore for you guys to enjoy. So there's no less in academics because it's BMS and there's no less in fun because it's in the center of Bangalore, guys. So the college ha even has the best placements. Imagine, guys, you are having fun in the college, you are having fests in the college, you are attending all the events in the college, joining all the clubs, as well as you are getting a good placement. What else you want? So this is the college. Here is my opinion over BMS College of Engineering, whether to join or not. So basically, in order to get into all these top tier colleges, you have to score a very tough rank, very good rank in CET. I would say if you're getting any of the top tier colleges, it would be a better choice to go without thinking much. And I was actually worried whether to join BMS or PES. So in my perspective, now it doesn't even matter. So it's all the same. Eventually, it's all the placement we care about and both the colleges have a better placement statistics and even the internship statistics are getting better over the years in all these colleges, all these top colleges. So if you're getting RV, then uh, going to BMS 
may be a clash over there but if you're deciding over ps and bms it doesn't matter guys whichever suits you well whichever you feel going like you can go to i would wish you guys all the very best for your cts and common case so guys that was the video on bms college of engineering and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel rave records and i would love to answer all your questions so make sure to give a review on this video and please even tell me which video to make next on which college you have to see me reviewing and make sure to share this video as much as possible because that feels really sweet of you guys so i'm ganesh revant from rave records see you in the next video signing off